Urgent news. Check this out. Fan, I've just received a bombshell news that has just been released, and I couldn't wait to share all the details with you. If you're subscribed, you already know you'll get all the updates firsthand. If you're not yet, click on the subscribe button to not miss any important details here on Jets News. We're always first on Jets News, and this information is simply unmissable. Let's dive in. Let's start with mistake number one instability in the offensive line. With a promising initial plan, the Jets hoped to rely on a strong line to protect the quarterback. However, injuries and lack of depth ended up becoming Achilles' heel for the team. Veteran Dwayne Brown, despite his experience, couldn't stay on the field, leaving a crucial gap in quarterback protection. This lack of stability resulted in constant changes in the line formation, affecting the overall offensive performance. Next, we have the questionable draft pick. Although Will McDonald has the potential to shine, his selection in 2023 may have been premature. With other needs in the team, such as the lack of a second receiver, choosing a defender may not have been the wisest decision. The absence of a complimentary receiver for Garrett Wilson left the Jets' offense unbalanced and predictable, hindering the passing game. Another crucial mistake was the coaching staff's lack of adaptability, especially after Aaron Rodgers' injury. The inability to adjust the tactical scheme to the new circumstances exposed the team's weaknesses and undermined any chance of success. In such a competitive league like the NFL, the ability to adapt to adverse situations is fundamental for long-term success. Furthermore, the lack of a competent backup quarterback was a determining factor for the Jets' below-par performance. The absence of a reliable option to replace Aaron Rodgers exposed the team's deficiencies and the lack of planning by the management. Finally, deficiencies in the receiving game also contributed to the Jets' problems in 2023. The lack of a quality second receiver overloaded Garrett Wilson and limited the offense's options, making it predictable and easy to neutralize by opponents. In summary, the Jets have a lot to learn from the mistakes of 2023. Last season was marked by a series of failures that exposed the team's weaknesses and highlighted the need for significant changes for the future. However, with a strategic approach and learning from past mistakes, the Jets have the potential to bounce back and achieve success in the upcoming season. Stay tuned here on Jets News for all updates on the New York Jets. We'll see you soon with more Jets News.